Barrett, Victoria, and their parents, Matt and Stephanie, are on an adventure at Eagle Island State Park. Oh, I think it's over there by the tree. I think we need to turn. They're geocaching. That is, they're looking for hidden treasure. And they can do it because of the Global Positioning System, or GPS. GPS is a network of 30 satellites, ground stations, and receivers. Tracking stations send radio signals to the GPS satellites, and at the same time, the satellites send the time and their locations back to Earth. In 2000, a group of people started hiding trinkets all over the world and letting others know where these caches were using a website. Later, the same folks started giving the cache locations on an app. And so began the game of geocaching. So maybe you take that side off of this side. I'm not seeing anything yet. You got it? All right, what is it? Check it out. O-key magnetic folder. Here's the list. Using information from GPS satellites and from the geocaching app on the Hofstetter's phone, the family finds the hidden cache. These caches are usually containers, sometimes quite small, that often holds a piece of paper listing everyone who's found it. Looks like the next geocache is all the way across the park. I know a fun way to get there. Come on, let's go. Good job with the zip lining idea, Tori. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think there's another geo this way. So just how does your phone and the GPS satellites know where you and the hidden cache are? Well, there's a special chip in your phone that computes your location using what's called triangulation. The phone receives signals from at least three different GPS satellites and then calculates where you are on the Earth based on small differences between the signals from the different satellites. The geocaching app can then compare your location with the cache's location to tell you how far you are away from the cache. But while the app gives you a rough idea where the cache is, you still have to search for it. Oh, I found it. It's oh, I the see it. Right there. Oh, nice. It's it looks like an old arrow box that says a fishing geocache on it. Put it down. Big one. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the other one. So what item do we want to swap out and take with us? Or we decide on the Ellie? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, All right, we'll put in. the science check from us in. Whoops, okay. Get them in there. Oh, close it up. Okay. And put it back there. Okay. See? You're looking for the next one? Yeah. Awesome. Here, I'll give you a hand. Okay, I think we have one more to find, and it looks like it's towards this tower. Awesome, let's okay. go. There are some basic rules to geocaching. Always explore safely. Observe all laws and rules and respect private property. Minimize your impact on the environment and be considerate of others. So up there. Oh. I found it. Nice job. If you take something from a cache, put something in to replace it and always sign the log so others know you were there. Note on the app that you found or didn't find the cache and be sure to put the cache back where you found it. Okay. Well, let's close it up and we'll go have some lunch, okay? All right. Okay. If you want to learn more about geocaching and satellites, check out the Science Trek website at sciencetrek.org.